Hey everybody. Today I'm kind of celebrating a sort of birthday. I mean, I don't know the exact date, but uh, my pomegranate plant that I started from seed is now just around three years old, give or take a week or so, but it's pretty close to three years old uh, either way. It's pretty huge. I've cut it back many times. It has been taller than this before, but uh, right now it's about three feet high, about a meter, for those who use metric. And yeah, I've pruned this thing numerous times. It even has uh, thorns now. Uh, it didn't have thorns when it was younger, but it definitely does now. And I keep getting myself with them. Uh, it has produced flowers twice this past winter, uh, seven months ago. That was indoors where it was a very uh, dry inside and it did drop the flowers eventually. But the flowers did look amazing. Uh, nice big blood red flowers. I'm hoping it flowers outside and then it should be able to, to uh, continue to produce fruit as long as uh, the flowers uh, pollinate each other. So I'm going to repot this. But before I do, maybe I'll give you a better look at this plant. Here's a look at it from ground level. See how high it goes up. And yeah, it does get very bushy. I brought it outside around six weeks ago. Uh, the leaves were looking pretty tattered, but it grows um, outdoor leaves here. It's done all that. These leaves that look kind of not so good, these are kind of the uh, indoor leaves that it grows over the winter. So these are kind of dying back and then the smaller outdoor leaves uh, grow. So it's definitely looking uh, very lush now. But it needs to be pruned and uh, repotted. I have a feeling that the roots are uh, getting close to the size of the capacity of this pot. Yeah, it's not a large pot. And I have grown larger trees in a pot like this, but I just would rather transplant it now and not have to worry about it if uh, the roots get bigger. Okay, so I'm going to prune this up a bit. Just to keep it to a reasonable size. I might root these cuttings as well, or attempt to. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to put them in water for now. I also don't want um, shoots going like sideways like this. That's not what I want. You can see some of the younger pieces have big thorns. There, I think that's it. It's quite a bit smaller now. See? But it'll grow very quickly. The thing to keep in mind with this kind of tree, it will uh, set fruit on new growth. So when I do this, it's going to grow very rapidly out, and it should be putting fruit on those on those new uh, growth. So it's not like other things like grapes, where or raspberries, where it grows on previous year's growth. Uh, this is kind of the opposite. It grows on new growth. So that's where I'll expect to get the new sets of flowers and fruit hopefully this year. But first I'm going to repot. So I've got this large pot. I've grown uh, citrus in this pot before. It's a very loose mixture. can see. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit of sand in there, but also some perlite uh, compost and I think a little bit of peat moss. Uh, I made this mix quite a while ago, but I know it drains really well uh, and it should be good with the pomegranate. Let me try and get this out of the pot. Okay, I just got the whole thing pulled out of the pot. And yeah, it's actually very root bound. 
as you can see, roots growing right around. So definitely uh, was a good, good choice to to transplant this now. And what I'm doing is I'm just going around the bottom part of the roots, and I'm kind of untangling them. Try not to rip them, but at least make it so that the nice white roots uh, have a place to go. Uh, I think this has been in too small of a pot for a while, so some of the roots look almost on the verge of rotting. So that's that's not a good uh, situation. Unfortunately, some of the roots got kind of tangled in this bottom piece of the pot. I kind of forgot about it, so it was intertwined with some of the pieces. So I kind of had to cut this out. But I figured that's better than just leaving the roots wrapped around the plastic forever. So a little bit of damage on the roots, but it'll come back. Now you can see the roots. It almost feels like this big pot will barely be enough. So I think I'll check on things at the end of the season. Okay, it's a big pot. Let's see how it fits. So here's what we're left with now. I think it looks good in that bigger pot. It's not a whole whole lot bigger, but it should be good for till the end of the year, I think. And then I might have to look for something really big. So I'm just gonna water it in. Try to fill in any air gaps down below. And if I need to, oh like there. If I need to, I'll fill in more soil. So thanks for watching this long-awaited update for some of you. And I hope you all have a great day.